everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. I'm here to review the play of the day, which was MIK, the Michaels Companies. This is the Crafty Store, which I love to shop at. We're talking about that in the room this morning. I don't think I've ever traded this stock before. It was a little jumpy in the morning, and the hilarious thing is that this broke here late in the afternoon. I'm long out of this because I only trade the morning period, but this is one of the ones that actually had a second setup. Again, I'm not in this anymore, but this is on a 20 to 26 bucks. So nice afternoon play, and, and I'm going to go over what you could have done with this as a late setup here in a minute. But let's go over the trade I did this morning. Stock opened, rally, boom. Short was right in here. 27.35, stop was 27.65. Originally, I had put it and sized it for 27.60, and then I decided to give it a little bit more of a cushion. Open, dropped, broke stayed with the trade. One of the reasons I'm very good at trading and make money consistently is because of the fact that I can read gaps right. If you didn't know how to read this, you might have thought this was a long in here and it looked like it was going to go over the high and actually did go a couple of pennies over the high, but it held the level of resistance I wanted it to hold, held the stop, and then I even give it, like I said, uh, give it five more cents. But it ran up and had a secondary entry here. I didn't do the secondary entry, but you could have added here. I called it in the room. I was in the original trade held it on through, beautiful, held the conviction, dropped, broke, fell, broke in here, boom. And I got out here in this bar. It could have broke 27 there. I felt that it would in the day, but I wanted it to do it in the morning. If you held this though, and you could have lowered the stop and stayed through the break even in here. Got all the way down to 26.85, but the very, very late setup, again, I didn't do the afternoon trade. I did the one I just showed you here in the morning. You could have done this. You could have done it very tight this would have been like a kamikaze. 99 by 20, you could have done in here. And I had said dream target today, 26. I also said 26.60. It got to that here in the late afternoon period in lunch. Market's falling a little bit today now too, which is helping this. And this could just bleed all day now. This could even have a follow through continuation gap for tomorrow. So nice call I made in the stock swish live trading room today. Everybody got it, and it was a great call. So I did my trade, get out in the morning, perfect. Held through the rally up. And again, this is exactly what I teach in the gap class, to know that this isn't going to fill the gap or flip or do anything like that and to hold through this area and even to take more. Again, I didn't, but some people in the room did. Very aggressive, but I knew it would hold and it just took a while to get going. It was a little jumpy here, but it was a nice short. So every day I'm looking for a move like this and a perfect gap. And actually, this is the only thing that worked today. So once again, pick the right thing. Of all the gaps today, the rest of the ones that I had looked at in the morning didn't even work. So... Beautiful call by me today. Nice, solid day in the room. Earning season is underway. We're going to have a good month, people. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information to sign up for the Golden Gap course. It's this weekend, July 16th and 17th, and the deadline to sign up is Friday. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.